We're tracking a developing story out of Nigeria this morning. A Canadian is among three oil workers taken hostage during a raid by gunmen on a rig in the Delta region of the country. Journalist Anna Cunningham is with us this morning. We often check in with Anna, this time from Lagos and uh, with the details as it pertains to uh, these kidnappings. I know there's sort of scant information at this point, Anna, but what do we have so far? Not a huge amount of detail, Heather, but what we know from local authorities is that this kidnapping took place on Saturday. Now, they've been saying it was about 8 o'clock in the morning. It's in the Delta region, which is down south, this oil-rich area of Nigeria. And they say that three oil workers, a Canadian, a Scottish man and a Nigerian, were taken at gunpoint at about 8 o'clock in the morning from a rig which is owned by the Niger Delta Petroleum Resources. Now, it's in an area called Obele. It's about 40 kilometres north of the capital, Port Harcourt, in Rivers State. And um, that's the detail that we've got at the moment. But um, we're waiting to hear more from authorities. They're saying that they are searching the swampland. There's an immense amount of creeks in this area, uh, very difficult to navigate around. They've also tightened security on the nearby roads. Anna, again, searching for the three kidnapped, also searching for motive in all of this. We certainly know from past incidents that kidnapping of foreigners for ransom is not uncommon in that part of the world, right? Yeah, sadly, that is a reality here in Nigeria, not just down in the south. We saw uh, just a few weeks ago an awful story of a, a kidnapping in Kaduna in the north in which a, a British woman and a Nigerian were killed. But um, security is, is always recommended to be very heavy for expatriates who live and work down in Port Harcourt and that region. We know the history has a, a big history of militancy in the Delta, where militants have been fighting for a greater share of the oil wealth. But over the last few years, there has been an amnesty with successive governments, and we've seen uh, fewer of these kidnappings of, of expatriates. But I think what is concerning is that we're now hearing about this, including a Canadian, which happened on Saturday. And then just a few days before, on Thursday, there was also another kidnapping of two oil workers who worked for the Dutch company Shell. And their security, their armed police escort, two of them were killed in that attack. So I think it is concerning. We know that a lot of these kidnappings do take place uh, purely just for ransom reasons. But as yet, we haven't heard who is responsible for this latest attack. All right, Anna, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you. Be back to you for any new information on this. Journalist Anna Cunningham, who's in Lagos, Nigeria, for us.